friends, I'm Jill Wyoskowski, a librarian at Caroline Kennedy Library, and this is an episode of Expressions. Expressions is an art program geared for teens and will meet in person once the library reopens and in-person programming resumes. In the meantime, we'll be sharing episodes via YouTube to help spark your creativity. Disclaimer, I am not an artist and I do not pretend my art is even good, but it is something that I truly enjoy doing. With that said, no matter what your skill level, we're here to be creative, make art, and most importantly, to have fun. In this episode of Expressions, I'll show you how to make a decorative bowl using pages from old magazines you have at home. Let's get started. The supplies needed to pull off this project are simple and nothing fancy, things you probably already have at home. So, old magazines. Look for advertisements and photo spreads for feature articles. They're usually full of color, which is what we'll need for this project. You'll need a pair of scissors too. And glue of some sort. For this project, I used a simple glue stick. Elmer's glue, Mod Podge with a matte finish, or a basic craft glue will work just fine. Grab a magazine and flip through it. Be on the lookout for pages full of color and not a great deal of text. Carefully tear these pages out from the magazine. There is no magic number for the amount of pages you'll need. I ended up tearing pages from about four fashion magazines, not because I needed that many pages, but because I was looking for specific colors, mainly shades of blue, gray, and black. Once you have some pages torn out, you'll need to make a whole lot of strips. This step is pretty easy, but it does take a chunk of time, perfect for watching a movie while you fold. Turn your page so that it is in landscape format or so that the wider portion of the page is towards you. You'll want to have any colored page you selected face down so that when you do the folding, it will be on the outside and visible. All right, let's get folding. Take the bottom edge of your page and fold it upwards. I folded mine about one finger's width. Do the same fold again and use your scissors to cut the strip from the page. You'll need to repeat this step until you have a small pile of strips and depending on how big you want to make your bowl, you may need to come back to the step again later. Tip, try to be consistent with the size of your folds. Now it's time for glue. Using the glue of your choice, apply it to the inside of your cut strips and fold them close. As I mentioned earlier, you may need to revisit this step depending on the size of your bowl. At this point, if you're wanting any sort of a color pattern for your bowl, you may want to sort your strips by color. And of course, this step is completely optional. This next step will work on creating the bottom of your bowl by making a tight coil using some of the strips you made earlier. The bottom of your bowl will be its smallest point. Apply glue to one side of your strip and roll the sticky side into a small tight coil. Apply glue to another one of your strips and begin wrapping it around where your first strip left off. You'll repeat this process until you're happy with the size of your coil. To keep things simple for your first bowl, I recommend keeping your bottom coil small. I had started with a two inch bottom coil and had a pretty easy time with the project. When you're done with this step, your coil should look something like this. Now it's time to begin work on the sides of your bowl. Like the previous step, we'll be making a coil, but in a different way. Rather than wrapping the strips directly over each other, you'll be gluing them partially over each other. If you'd like your bowl to have a color pattern, be sure to organize your strips. I made two piles for my project, shades of blue and shades of gray. Like you did in the previous step, you'll need to apply glue to one side of your strip. For your first wrap, shoot for a teensy bit of the strip to peek over your bottom coil. Aim for about a toothpick's width over the top. For every strip forward, start where the previous strip left off and plan for about a toothpick's width of overlap. To keep your bowl even looking, try to be consistent with the amount of overlap for each strip you add. Continue adding strips and wrapping them until you're happy with the size of your bowl. The last step is easy. Apply glue like you did in the previous steps and wrap one final strip or two around the top edge of your bowl, but this time end for end, like a bracelet. This will help even out the rim of your bowl. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this episode of Expressions. We would love to see your art. Use the hashtag DHCLTeens on social media. Before we wrap up, did you know that Dearborn Heights City Libraries are offering curbside pickup? 
You can request books, movies, music, and even video games via our website, dhcl.mishlibrary.org, by phone or even email, and we'll bring the items out to you. Home delivery is also an option. Last blurb, I promise. Did you know that with your library card, you have access to thousands of hours of streamable music and movies all via Hoopla? Visit our website at dhcl.mishlibrary.org and click on Electronic Resources. I'm Jill Wyoskowski with Caroline Kennedy Library. Stay connected with us at dhcl.mishlibrary.org and on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now on Pinterest. Thanks for tuning in.